Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, big episode today, we're doing the Monday Post. We have about 27 orders to come through today. Courtney's in with me. Um, we're gonna go through each and every one that has come through. I wanted to give you a really quick update on our whiteboard. We managed to hit our $10,000 January goal uh, for last month. So Courtney was three weeks into the game and managed to hit our first target, uh, which was pretty exciting. And for February, we're not doing too bad either. We're trekking for about 8% less than what the goal is for 11,000. Uh, we're sitting at around a 10 to sort of an estimation. So we're gonna have to pick things up slightly, uh, but we did have a really good collect on Instagram throughout the week that I wanted to give you a bit of a chat about as well. This eBay store buyout that we did just a week ago is already returning some fantastic results. So I'm gonna show you that a little bit later in the video. We're gonna do the post as I mentioned, and then we're gonna get up to a few other little bits and pieces throughout the day that we'll record for you guys as well. So uh, let's get into the post. The uh, first category that we're gonna have a look at is the shoes. All right, uh, we've got four pairs of shoes. The first ones that I've got here is uh, just a pair of Nike running shoes. Uh, the Zoom Rival Waffles, these ones. These were $35, so pretty standard rate. I actually didn't take the $8 price point off the bottom of the shoe there, so make sure you do that whenever, you, whenever you're cleaning your shoes before you're listing. Still managed to get it sold, which was good. Um, we've got these ones as well, the Nike Dunks. These are a very old model of Nike Dunk as well, back in 2010. Um, because of that, I didn't know if they were genuine or not, but I did some research just on Google uh, and determined that they were genuine. Um, we ended up getting an $80 sale price on those ones there. The Dunks are always very, very popular. Um, another brand that's super popular are these ones here, the Tiger Onisukas. Don't love the colorway uh, of these ones here, but they still managed to sell in a pretty quick space of time. We got a $75 sale price for that one there. And then these, the cycling shoes, I think they're mountain black cycling shoes. I'm not 100% sure. They're definitely not road shoes. Um, pretty decent size. I think they're a US 11, nine, nine and a half. Um, but we got a $80 sale price on those ones there. Did take a while to sell. Northwave isn't the best brand out there um, for the cycling shoes, but if you do see them, $80 is a pretty good uh, sale price. So four sales, uh, not too bad. They're all coming off the 15% sale that we're doing uh, for our store markdown. So the shoes are doing really well. Awesome sales to come out of the video game category. I'll start off with a couple of the cheapies that are doing pretty well. We've got anything anything Lego in the video game series generally do, do great. So Jurassic World there on the PS3, uh, $14. Typically the lowest price that I'll do for a video game. Uh, also got this one here as well, just a stock standard winner, Grand Theft Auto 4. Any of the GTA series on any of the consoles do well. Uh, we've got a $15 sale price on that one there. Very much bread and butter items, but I still love to pick them up. Um, this is the third Street Fighter 2, I think it is. Yeah, Street Fighter 2. Uh, we sold, I've been selling them for $40, but we had a coupon activated. So I think it was around about the $35 to $37 price point. But all three of these games have sold now. So that's a really one, a good one to be finding. Uh, and then we've got the big guys. Uh, we've got Rocket Knight Adventures. Never played this one before, but I did my research and I realized that for the Sega Mega Drive, this is a very, very rare game. Um, and we've got a $90 sale price for it. Apparently this Sparkster guy uh, is pretty popular. So 90 bucks on that. Very cool to see the old school vintage games coming through. And here was another one. We've got Super Mario 3, uh, the Mario Brothers. This one here, obviously in its original box. Um, I was always gonna get a pretty high price for this one. It is complete. Um, you'll see that there's a manual in there and the game itself. Um, we ended up getting $125 come through this morning. Uh, for that one there. So Courtney's gonna put that one into a box with some severe bubble wrap to make sure that one gets there in time. But uh, yeah, what's that? Five video games with some pretty high average sale prices coming through, uh, especially on these two here. All right, we've got four sort of random items here. The first one that I've got is the Bonanza 2. This is the Battle of the Ashes. Um, we've got Boonie, and Ian Botham, I picked this up in the eBay store buyout and I knew that it would sell pretty well. We got a $40 sale price uh, for this. Courtney just listed this up, I think it was on Friday, it wasn't that long ago. Um, so that went around very, very quickly. The other one that we got from the eBay store buyout was this Dragon Ball Z. This was Goku. I do have another one as well that we're trying to sell. I'm listing them up for about 50 bucks and uh, we got a best offer come through at $45 for this one here. So anything sort of boxed related, anything Dragon Ball Z in the action figure category, um, they're selling really quickly. A lot of people looking for this stuff out there. Um, so $45 was a really quick turnaround. Again, Courtney did that one on Friday, or I think I did that on Thursday. It went really quick. Um, this one here, this was a Twilight Saga. We've got Jacob Black. Um, someone in the States has picked this one up. So these Funko Pops are doing really well. 
Uh, I did a large uh, Funko Pop buyout at the flea market and I got all of these for $7 each. And they're just slowly trickling through for me. So there's still some good money in the category. Uh, $20 worth of international postage, plus we got about a $45 sale price on that one there. So buying it for seven, turning it into $45, that was cool to see. And then just a, a really stock standard staple, Miami Heat um, baseball cap. We got a $25 sale price on that, which to be honest with you is just a very typical average sale price uh, for a hat. So good to see another one come through. And then the last category is always the one that we have the most sales in. It's what we just list the most. So no wonder we're getting a few good sales come through. Um, DVDs, we've got a total of 13 sales. These ones right here, nothing too much to write home about. They're all kind of $15 to $20 sale items. So we've got a, a few bread and butters coming through, but we always like to do the bundles. The bundles you're always going to get a few more dollars for. Really nice to see out of our eBay store buyout, we've got the Chasers War on everything. We've got a complete series set there. There might even be a season three for that show out there. I'm not 100% sure, but we did get a $40 sale price on that one there. So a good show to be finding. Sold it a number of times. Uh, this one here, look, it's three copies of Criminal Minds. We've actually got seasons 13, 14, and 15. I had a lady from Malaysia uh, message me, and she was interested in these. She wanted a reduced price on the postage. I said to her that I could ship them off to her for $25 and she ended up buying them for a reduced rate of $13 each as a bulk deal. So I don't mind dropping the price uh, if I know that I'm gonna get a bulk deal out of it. So $39 sale price for these three, plus $25 in postage. So that was actually a really good sale. I was happy to see that come through. Um, Spartacus, this was out of the video store buyout. This was a $35 sale price. Uh, we've got three seasons worth of that show there. Uh, Alien sold this one a number of times. We've got a $30 sale price on that one there, so that was pretty epic. And then this was just a really mixed assortment of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle DVDs. We got a $25 sale price on that one there. And being five DVDs, we can always fit that into a small satchel. So 25 bucks, small satchel, that should work out to a couple of dollars in our pocket. So nice to see all of the DVDs coming through. Hopefully they just continue. So I just want to give you guys a bit of an update around the eBay store buyout that we did last week. It's now been eight days that we've had all of this stock come into the garage and I've just been slowly sifting through it. Courtney's been listing up as many items as she possibly can and we've been having some really good turnaround already in just a week. So the numbers that we've got so far, in, in total, there was $1,450 that has come in from eBay. Um, we haven't listed up everything at the moment. We're just still chipping away on it, but what has already gone in, we've already seen a fair amount of it go on to sell. So $1,450 in the space of a week, I think is excellent. But really last week, we had a huge amount of sales come through on Instagram, through viewers of the channel, and just through the following on Instagram. Uh, and in large part, it was actually those Pokemon coins um, that I picked up. I actually chose to do an Instagram sale and I listed them up for either 30 or, sorry, it was either 25 or $50. And we did $810 worth of sales, and I've actually only got 10 sets of those coins left. So 810 bucks to come in, no eBay fees to worry about, just the shipping. Um, I was stoked to see so many of those coins go on to sell in such a quick space of time. So that really helped our week last week, and it also helped the eBay store buyout as well. So uh, all up, $2,200 has come in in sales from that purchase. You can always account for about half of it to be your actual profit. So I'm thinking there's about $1,100 worth of clean takeaway profit. And remember we paid three grand for the buyout. So we're about at a third of the way to getting our money back and we've still got so much more to list and sell. So really exciting numbers to see. Um, we've got probably about $8,500, I think was the last uh, number that I checked. Um, eight and a half grand listed unsold on eBay still to come in. And I reckon there's probably about another $8,000 that we even yet to list. So all up, I really do think it was a $20,000 eBay store buyout per the title uh, of the video that I've just put out recently. So um, to be able to have already got all that money back off a 20 grand buyout, there's gonna be plenty more money to come. It was just the items. They were collectible items that people are after. I've got a whole bunch of action figures to go through here still. Um, so I'm really excited to see where this one ends up. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Nice. See you soon. Lunch time. Sushi. Sushi. Now, I said that this was some of the best sushi on the coast. And Courtney's going to let me know if that's the case or not. And if it goes anything by the ham wraps that I had last week. Then no. Then no. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. All right, taste test. 
And you need to give me a rating out of 10. I reckon like eight. Hmm. It's pretty good. It's better than Sushi Humba, but it's not like the best. Where do you lose two points? It just is like pretty similar to Sushi Train. So it's like, you're not really standing out. <laughs> Clearly I've struck out twice. Mm. No for the ham wrap. Mm. Sushi's no, just subpar. Mm -hmm. The next time we go and get food, it's up, it's up to you. And I'm gonna be the one that gets to vote. All right, I'm not from around here. <laughs> right, we're here at the local, local op shop. Don't need to be here, but we're gonna try and find a $100 item. Let's see how we go. What do you see? Mighty douche. One, two, and three. I can give that a scan. My friend's in the car. Oh! <laughs> oh, no phone! Jeez! <laughs> what is this? I knew when I picked it up, I was like, my friend's in the car. Is that because you just know it off the top of your head? Yeah. Alright, how much does it worth? A hundred. hundred? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we found that one that we were looking for. <laughs> no phone, nothing. hundred bucks. I reckon we'll put it on the screen how much it's worth, and if it was worthwhile, we'll take it, and if it's not, we'll leave it. Hell on wheels. That could be okay. Do you want to scan? Oh. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. DNA one and two, that could be good too. Is it open? Oh, closed. Are they closed? We can go around the back. They're closed. I didn't realize. So apparently these guys have closed for today, but we can go around the back. So we're going to go in and have a look. Look at how much stuff you guys have got. Oh. Oh. Wow. No wonder you're closed. Yeah, what'd you, where'd you find? Yeah. But like the stoles? Yeah, it's a bit, a bit worn. They are good though. They're five dollars. Are these stocks? Yeah, that Doc Martens. That's Small. awesome. Small, but Docs are great. What about these? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And also this one. Cranford collection. Might want to type that one in. Complete series, $9.95. Yeah, that's for like seven of them. Twenty. Twenty-five. Twenty-two. Twenty. I reckon that's good. We'll do that. And this one too. We'll do that one. Yeah. So we. Oh yeah. One to five. One to five. <laughs> hey God. Hey God. One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, You're doing well. Yeah. You're doing well. Yeah. One to five. Yeah. All right. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's great. I like that. All right. That was incredible, guys. We were able to not only go into a store that was closed, um, but we even got the nice lady that we usually get when we go in, and she gave us some crazy discounts on those DVDs because normally they're a dollar a disc, and she gave us to us um, for a dollar a DVD, which basically meant that we could go ahead and buy them. Um, I've got two pairs of shoes, and but you, you forgot we what? went in the back way. Oh yeah, we also went in the back. So she said, "Come on through," and I didn't think she was going to say that because they were closed. Did we say that? Yeah, they were closed. Did we say that? <laughs> no. I don't think I said that. Like we're just being weird and saying we went through the back. Yeah, well, we do probably need to say that too, don't we? <laughs> um, <laughs> so I don't know what size these are, but we've got a pair of Doc Martens. So we're going to probably have to work that out. How much? Well, it wouldn't have been that much because... They were $10. Yeah, but everything was... No, everything was pretty much reduced, hey? Well, these Kyries were five. So we've got a pair of Kyries here, but they were they were worn. You can see there on the soles, they were slightly worn. So five might turn into about maybe $35 for those shoes. The Docs we should be able to get about 50 bucks for. They were always a good one to find. So the Doc Martens there, I'm uh, just gonna work out the size, but um, a pretty pretty much a steal of a price. And then we've got a bunch of DVDs. We've got their Marple. 
Marple. Agatha Christie's the, Marple. Complete that was, fourth series. Yeah, so that fourth season should go for about, I'd say, where's this one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's hot, eh? That one, <laughs> this one, this one should go for 20 bucks. That Cranford series, the Cranford collection, should go for about 20. This was good. Must go. So we've got every single episode there. That one's a complete series, uh, season one to five of Lost Girl. So we should be able to get about, I think it was 50? Yeah. About 50 bucks yeah. on that one there. So we got that for $5, so five and a 50. Um, then we got, now this was actually massive because if she didn't give us the deal, they would have been a dollar a disc and it would have been a $40 purchase, but she was so nice. She gave us to us for a dollar a DVD. We paid $5 and we've got Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, seasons one to five. I think the full series set of seven seasons goes for about $100. And this one here goes for probably, I reckon, about 50 or 60 is what we'll get for it. So a really big bolo series for you guys to be looking out for. Um, and then it was that Agatha Christie Marple that was going for about $25 to $30, that one there. So amazing to be able to get out the back. Amazing to be able to get cheap price points. Two op shops done. I think we're pretty, I'm, I'm happy to go and list this up now. So we've just had two sales come in while we were out doing the posts and doing our little op shop run. The first one that I've got here is the Taggart Collection Volume 1. Uh, we've got about a $20 sale price on that one there. So Courtney's just about to put that one into a medium envelope. Uh, and we also had sell a, um, it was a necklace. Um, I'll put a little screen grab up here for you now because Courtney's just put it into a, a little small satchel there. But it was, um, yeah, it was a John Cena WWE pendant. We got a $60 sale price for that, and that came in the eBay store buyout. So, so far today, 60, 20, that's 80. We'd already done 155. So today we're tracking pretty well, about $230 in sales. So there you go, guys. Just another day in the life of a full-time eBay seller. If you missed the video of the eBay store buyout, go and check it out. It's right here. We'll see you soon.